Hello everyone. Uh, today, uh, session uh, will be discussing about uh, uh, what a cloud computing uh, is all about, and uh, what type of services and what type of uh, uh, deployment model uh, which was exists into the market, and uh, what uh, the layers or uh, what are the layers or layers which was involved in a cloud computing. So these are all the major topics that we'll be cover. Uh, we are going to cover, and we are going to discuss in this uh, session. So we will go into the topic. First, we'll just move on to the layers of cloud computing. So normally, uh, when you speak about a cloud deployment model or service model or the layers of cloud computing, the cloud, which is well, simply, if someone asks about what do you know about cloud computing, so you, you can say that if we go for a cloud computing, it gives the resources in an elasticity in nature. So what do you mean by elasticity? What do you mean by scalable? So these two terms are majorly uh, involved in a cloud computing. So let's give an, a, a brief example about what do you mean by elasticity? What do you mean by scalability, scalability and how it works in a real time? So when we speak about the Amazon or Flipkart, so normally, uh, so you people have, know how to uh, buy the product in Amazon or Flipkart, right? So assume that normal days, so if there is no festivals and no uh, nothing uh, special on the, on that particular month. So normally the Amazon or Flipkart, what they do is, so they will sell their product. So might be around uh, 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 1 million people, 1 million customers may access an Amazon website on that particular day, right? So just think about that. When we go for, when they go for a prime sale, so prime sale in the sense, uh, they will be uh, uh, giving a lot of offers only for the particular period of time. So might be during the Christmas festivals. So for between 20 to 25, they'll go for some prime sale or during the Pongal festivals. So they'll be going for some prime sale. So whenever there is a festival is going to come. So by that time, the Amazon of Flipkart, they start to give a prime sale. So and they'll be giving a lot of product. They will be selling a lot of product with uh exciting offers so even they will go sometimes they will go for a 50 percentage of uh, the product will be sell, sold for a 50 percentage of that uh, actual cost so by the time so as i told you like earlier so normal in a regular days uh, if assume that uh, the the particular site was accessed by 1 million of customers but during this prime sale it's going to be a multiples of 100 so it means like 100 million customers will try to access an Amazon server uh, on during the festival sales. So do you think that Amazon, uh, if the Amazon has failed to provide a response for uh, the 99 million customers, then obviously the people will get, uh, will not be happy and they won't prefer that site for buying the product. If the Amazon has failed to do some transaction, and when the customer is doing some trans payment gateway and uh, cash has been debited, the amount has been debited from the customer account and uh, the uh, transaction was not getting successful and the product was not uh, sold for the particular customer, then definitely the customers will give their feedback and definitely they won't prefer that uh, as a shopping mod cut for the next time, right? So what Amazon do? Amazon don't want to spend uh want to buy a huge number of resources and servers and data center for those festival sale what they do is they will externally they will uh, uh they, they will get the resources from the various external cloud service provider only during the festival sale and that uh uh resources will be utilized during the festival sale and they'll be giving back to that uh resources to the external cloud service provider and they'll be paying the rent for that alone. So which means like, so out of 365 days, so might be around 300 days, they are not going for a festival sale. So only 1 million, cust 1 million customers are going to access the Amazon web server, right? For buying and selling the product. So just for a period of 65 days, the Amazon don't want to spill the billions and billions of money for, uh, providing the support for the customer. So what they do is, so they'll be maintaining the limited uh, resources to support for 1 million customers and uh, 
during the festival sale, what they do is they will get a resources from the external service provider and they will provide the services to the customers without any interruptions and they will be paying the money. So that is something we call it as enter cloud or multi-cloud uh, resource. So what actually I just want to tell you is, so this is what on real-time example of how the cloud works and what a benefit that Amazon is going to get. Normally, if the Amazon is going to create their infrastructure for 100 billion customers, so they have to spend the billions and billions of money for maintaining the data center, for maintaining the servers, and for maintaining the employees. But they are not going to spend that one because they were going to use around three, out of 365 days, 300 days, the customer, 1 million customers is going to use the server. But only for the 65 days, around 100 million customers is going to use. So they, what they planned is that they want to go for some external resources, uh, external cloud service provider to get the resources for only for the particular day. And they're going to pay money for that services alone so just coming to the point about the layers of cloud computing so actually the cloud computing uh, uh what we saw uh, called as uh, working on a virtual as i just told you about on a previous session about the virtualization the cloud computing working on the virtualization and dynamically allocated resources so which means like if a customer wants to buy a product uh, or he want to buy some uh, garment and suddenly he will change his mind and he want to go for some electronic items. Suddenly he might be changing and he might be going for some other home appliances. So dynamically, the customer will move on to the, because uh, we all know that human thinking process is too complex and none of the technology have started, uh, not a started, and none of the technology have find a solution for the human uh, thinking capabilities. So still uh, the, a lot of machine learning algorithms are working and existing to the market and the neural networks and deep learning methods or everything or into the system. But still uh, the people finding a lot of difficulties to understand the human thinking capability. So we can't uh, guess that the customer will do such kind of action. This kind of action is going to do by the customer. So we can able to predict, but human thinking capabilities keep on dynamically, it may change. So whenever he changes mind, the resource allocation has to be the resource that he is requesting is something different, right? So the cloud computing has to give, uh, allocate the resources dynamically to the end users. So that normally the layers, it consists of four different layers. One is a physical layer and second one is an infrastructure layer. Third one is a platform layer and fourth one is about the application layer. So four different layers, physical, infrastructure, platform and the application so simply we can say like a physical server a physical layer consists of a physical servers networks uh, etc so we use all the physical components that which comes with the physical layer and speaking about the infrastructure layer is something says about a virtualized server networking storage so those are all something which, uh, which comes under uh, infrastructure layer so platform layer is something like uh, the product that uh, developed uh, software that we need a place to deploy that software. So we need a place to develop a product. So for a platform layer, which gives the components or services like Microsoft Windows Azure, Google App Engine for a platform for development. And as I told you about the deployment of that particular software. So for you now that, that is the, which means the platform layer will use, provide a tool for developing and deploying the application and application layer. So whatever we use, so right now I'm using a Zoom for recording this. Uh, I can go for, I can say that Zoom is an application. It's a, just a software and a G, Google, a Google Meet. And as I just told you, like a Photoshop and a VLC player, Windows Media Player. So those are all something so software. So Dropbox, so for storing the data, I can go for iCloud. So these are all something which comes under an application. Layer. So majorly, uh, we, uh, if uh, something uh, asked by the layers of cloud computing, so the layers of cloud computing contains four layers. One is the physical, which says about the collection of physical uh, components like a physical servers and network infrastructure layer will provide the virtualized server or networking or storage and uh, uh, resources. And uh, platform layer will provide, uh, uh, which means that it provides a platform for developing and deploying the applications to the end user, requested uh, end users. And application layer is something where the end users is interact with the uh, system, with the cloud. So uh, we can say like uh, Google, Gmail, and then uh, for uh, storing your data, you go for iCloud or Dropbox or uh, even a Google Drive. So those are all something which comes under appli application layer.
So this is what the layers of a cloud computing, physical layer, uh, virtualization layer, and uh, speaking about the service layer, so it's as an uh, IAS, PAS, and SAS. So something we call it as, as simply we call it as, uh, uh, I, I just told you about the software uh, deployment and software services. So this is something we call it as a software service service model. So cloud uh, deployment model and cloud service model. So it's cloud. So if you, they are going to ask you about uh, what do you mean by cloud service model, so you people can uh, say about a cloud service model is just that just the cloud is providing a service to the various end users. What type of services the cloud is going to provide? It might be providing the services like a software. So if I want a Zoom for recording or for conducting some videos, lectures, or we, I just want to share my thoughts through a video mode, I can go for a Zoom or Microsoft Team, or I may be going for a Google Meet. So this is all something, the software that I can get it from the cloud and I can provide information. So I can share my thoughts to the multiple end users. So that is something a software. Uh, so platform in the sense is if I'm a developer, I want to develop an application and I want to run the, and deploy that application. So I need a tool for developing and deploying that, I will go for the platform. So I can get it from the cloud service provider. Infrastructure is something creating an infrastructure like a networking and storage for maintaining, for storing and for providing the securities. And so that, that is something we call it as an infrastructure as a services. So this is something we call it as a service model. Coming to the deployment model. So, sorry, uh, this is the service model. A deploying model in the sense, so if, they ask you about, is there any difference between the service model or deployment model? You people can say that service model which says about a software uh, platform and infrastructure, but a deployment model says about uh, where you are going to deploy your application, whether you are going to deploy your application to a public or through the private or through the hybrid mode. So that's something we call it as a deployment model. Public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud, we call it as the deploying model of in a cloud computing. So there's something, a major difference between the service model and the deployment model. So in upcoming sessions, we'll be discussing more about uh, what do you mean by service model and what do you mean by deployment model? Uh, I hope uh, you guys have understood this, uh, uh, the basic introductions about the cloud computing. Uh, if you have any questions or queries, so just put it in the chat window or uh, in the comment session. Thank you.